The UK's culture and sports minister is currently on a visit to Seoul promoting Korea UK cooperation in the cultural industries. Our Kwon Jango got to sit down with Karen Bradley to discuss what her visit means for the future of the two countries' relations. Thank you for making the time to talk with us today. Let's start with some of the events you've been promoting here in Korea. Yesterday, you launched the UK Korea Creative Futures. It's a year long program of events and activities in Korea promoting UK culture. What do you hope the Korean people take away from this program? Well, I mean, I'm really delighted to be here in, in Korea and launching uh, the program. Creative Industries is where we can show so much uh, in common and so many. Uh, things that we can work together to really prosper with, you know, and that is the things that perhaps people traditionally think about Britain for the sort of uh, the music, maybe uh, uh, some of our uh, literature, but also newer uh, technologies like games industry, esports, uh, all sorts of creative tech opportunities, fintech. There are many, many things that uh, we work on in the UK. We want to work with Korean companies and we want to work with the Korean people. Uh, what aspects of the Korean, Korea's creative industry have impressed you and what would you kind of like to take back to the UK? Oh, so much. I mean, I, I just feel that um, there is so much innovation and there's so much uh, that the Korea leads in. If you look at the industries that, you know, in the West, we th in, in the UK, we think of Korea leading in automotive and, uh, and tech, uh, electronics. These are things that, you know, are, are part and parcel of life in Britain. You know, people have Korean goods in their homes. And I think the fact that there's so much uh, going on in Korea to, de to develop those fantastic uh, products, but also to work with British companies to really, you know, get that absolutely best we possibly can be by working together. Of course, I want to ask about Brexit. Uh, Brexit was the biggest issue coming out of the UK last year. Uh, what impacts has there been in the creative industry for the UK? The way I described the vote last year, it, it wasn't a vote for Britain closing its doors or saying we're not wanting to work with the world. It was Britain saying actually we want to work beyond 27 member states of the European Union with the whole world. And Korea is exactly the kind of country that we want to work with. So I think that the message I want to give is that we want to work with Korea. That This is the British people saying we are open, we're open for business. And we want to work with businesses here in Korea and countries like Korea. London 2012 was a huge success in a sporting sense and a cultural sense as well, I feel. Can you tell us the secret of your success and what any advice you, know, you can give to Pyeongchang, seeing as the Winter Olympics is coming next year in Korea as well? Well, I'm not sure that I, I'm in a position to give advice to such a successful country when it comes to hosting major events. But, but I think what we're very happy to do, and you know, we have an example with Agrico that has just signed a contract to work on the Pyeongchang Games, because actually there are British companies with, with uh, good ideas that can help to deliver the games in the, in the seamless way. So, you know, things like crowd management, uh, how, how uh, the customer experience, the visitor experience, those kind of things that we'd be really happy to share from our experiences in 2012. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoy the rest of your time in Korea. Thank you.